This is CNN Breaking News. Hello everyone, I'm Isa Suarez in London. We begin this hour with major breaking news. Two rockets or missiles have reportedly struck inside Poland and NATO, of course, an EU country, and reportedly killed two people. Uh, and it comes on a day of what has been relentless Russian strikes right across Ukraine. Strikes that have targeted cities and regions right there, as you can see on your map, really including residential neighborhoods in Kyiv. Poland is now holding, being told, an emergency meeting. The Pentagon says it's aware of the report. Our Christian Amanpour joins me now from London. So, Christian, a, a lot we still do not know. So just bring us up to date with what we do know at this hour. Well, the truth is we don't. We know perhaps that two people have been killed by some kind of, of debris, missile, whatever it is. But we really do not know what actually it is. We have called the Polish government. They have told us we are trying to confirm what it is. We're investigating. We know from calling around to various NATO bordering countries who we speak to regularly on our show, in foreign ministries, defense ministries, that everyone is trying to find out exactly what happened. Um, we know that other countries, for instance, the Baltics, have said if it is the worst case scenario that there was an attack, then that would mean that we stand fully shoulder to shoulder with our NATO uh, ally Poland and we will do what NATO, uh, what Poland asks us to do. So reason everybody is getting very anxious and rightly so about this is because any deliberate attack on a NATO nation would in fact uh, trigger Article 5 if the if the attack nation was to ask for that to be triggered, which would then trigger a response from all the other NATO nations, because that is the doctrine. However, we do not know what happened as of this time. Neither the Pentagon is saying that it knows what happened, nor the British Defense Ministry, nor in the countries around, and Poland, the country in which something happened, is currently investigating it. What needs to happen, and you just talked to a former uh, mm. NATO ambassador, Kurt Volker, is that Russia needs to immediately clarify what it did or didn't do and what its intentions were. There is also a possibility, and we don't know this, but we do know that of the what the Ukrainians claim to have been 90... Uh, missiles that were fired across the country by Russia today, they say their anti-missile defense, their air defense systems, shot down 70 of those. Now, is it possible that some of those were shot down in a border region? Is it possible that there was some debris from shooting down these Russian missiles that were targeting Ukrainian infrastructure and civilian targets. Could that have, uh, could that have been a part of, of, of the cause? Again, we don't know, but all of these are possibilities, and therefore we have to hear from Russia and we have to hear from Poland. And, you know, the United States has massive intelligence capabilities, and it's probably deplo obviously deploying all that. And as I said, many of these countries are, are talking to each other, calling each other, trying to figure mm. out what's going on. And you can imagine NATO also is... Is the headquarters in Brussels is also engaged in first and foremost trying to understand what happened. Yeah, and speaking of allies and the Czech Prime Minister, Republic Prime Minister Pep Fiala said that it stands firmly, I'm quoting here, firmly behind our EU and NATO ally Poland as it awaits confirmation from Polish authorities regarding reports that rockets or missiles landed in the country. If Poland confirms that the missiles also hit its territory, this will be further escalation by Russia. We stand firmly behind our EU and NATO ally. And then he went on to say, and this is something we can talk about, uh, Christian, today's massive missile attacks by the Russian army on Ukraine clearly showed that Russia wants to further terrorize its people and destroy the country. And of course, it's coming on the day that we've seen a barrage, as we saw in our map there, of missiles across Ukraine. Well, the last bit is absolutely correct. Uh, it has been Russian strategy or tactic since the downing of the bridge at, uh, at Crimea, the, the Crimea Bridge, uh, by the Ukrainians. It's been Russia's uh, aim to punish Ukraine for that by punishing the Ukrainian people, by punishing Ukrainian civilians, by attacking civilian targets. Apologies, and we've seen I want that. to interrupt because I believe the State Department, I mean, told us speaking right.